What's up guys, Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of the Leicester City career mode. I did it again, I nearly forgot what series we're doing. Today, I'm only going to bring you one game, I'm really sorry, I've run out of time. I'm going to just bring you this FA Cup semi-final versus Arsenal. And then I'll bring you Man U Chelsea, and then I'll bring you the end of this season over the next little bit. I'm just running out of time to record in bits at the minute, so I do apologise. It might seem like a shorter episode, it might seem a bit rushed, but I want to get this one out especially. Pre-match report, Arsenal do look very good. They are playing Charlie Patino in midfield, a youngster. Kior at the back, we've got Trippier. It is a good team, they've got better players on the bench. It's interesting. Gagan pressing, Odegaard the key player. But as Woot Faz is suspended in this game, Harry Suter is coming in at centre-back in what I think... No, it's not the only change because Martinez is up front as well. We've got good pedigree in the FA Cup. Recently winning it with that Tillemans goal against Chelsea and a couple of heroics from Schmeichel at the end of that game. We know we can win this competition. Arsenal aren't exactly full strength, so it gives me a little bit of hope. Could do with Mbwemo having a good one. He's definitely picked up recently. Martinez, I've given him the chance. He's been the cup striker. He has done fairly well so far. What a ball that is by Ramsdale. It set Arsenal up straight away. Doyle against Saka concedes the foul. Goes for the free kick. Dinks over. Suter heads it onto the back of Doyle. Hermanson claims it. It's not too bad. Oh my god. Harry Winks just ran it into trouble. Trossard. Plays it around Suter. Jesus, Doyle steps in. Good defending. It's about just not really giving them too much time. And is taking a time, really. Mbwemo turns past Kior. Gives it out to Mavadidi. I've gone a bit far with that. Justin, all the way over towards Winks. Heads it down. And Mbwemo on the volley. High and wide. High and wide. I do love the FA Cup. I love the fact the semi-finals are played at Wembley as well. It just makes the cup feel a bit more special. Mavadidi's nicked it off Trippier high up. Gets assaulted, but he gets it into Martinez. Martinez just about squeezes it to Dujbe Hill, but Party, who probably shouldn't be in the game, gets it. Mavadidi again. Mbwemo turns. Mbwemo shoots. Mbwemo scores. Now that's put a spanner in the works. In front of the Leicester fans at Wembley, Mbwemo does really well to get Basquio. And his end of season form is really, really making up for a really slow start. It's a lovely finish with his right foot. Ramsdale could have probably done a little better, but it is gone straight into the corner. Am I going to complain? No. No, I'm not. We won the up in the FA Cup. Great tackle, Mavadidi. Justin Meggs is Odegaard. And we're going again. Mavadidi against Trippier. Knocks it past him. Trippier is struggling against him. Mavadidi gets it. Ball isn't going to get over. It's a good block. Need and Diddy to put a foot in. Odegaard and Saka linking up. And I don't want to commit the defence. And why should I when Harry Winks is going to win that tackle? Puts the ball in and Martinez is through. On his weaker left foot. Just goes for a shot. That, that is easy. Easy for them. Got to say, I'm really impressed with how we've played this one. We've been quite calm. Arsenal have played the pressing style on us. But this latter half of the season, we've definitely come into our own. We struggled for quite a bit of this Premier League season. But we've definitely built into it. Winks now tried to squeeze Mbwemo through. Unlucky on that one. It's a great ball by Odegaard to Trossard. Pereira's got to try and cover the angle. He doesn't. Suter, he's squeezed it through. Jesus was offside, but Doyle still has to make that block. Ooh, that's loose. That's very loose, and that's set up on a counter-attack. Trossard gets it. Odegaard is the man on it. Up against Callum Doyle. Doyle does enough. Justin comes and supports him. That is so much better defending by us. We've got so much better at that recently. Now Mavadidi against Romagnoli. Gets a throw in at least. That's not bad. Mbwemo. Just turns past his man quite well. Very, very nearly squeezes it through to Martinez. There's not been many chances in this game, but it's the control we've got on the board is what's impressed me. Jesus gets it out to Zinchenko right at the end of a the half. They've got a very dangerous looking chance. Pereira, don't dive in. Trossard's in the box. Odegaard's in the box. Hermanson gets it. 
we just about escaped that one at the end. We don't need to make any changes. I'm very, very happy with how this game's going. A very good result so far. We just need to try and hold on to it. Great work in the midfield again. Winx has come into his own since Pooj got injured. Someone is down for us though. I don't like that. He looks like it's Mavadidi. Again, they're just turning. They're toying with James Justin at the minute. He can have it there all he wants. Okay, maybe not there. Justin tries to get through Jesus. Hermanson makes one save. He hits the outside of the post. They're knocking. Yeah, Mavadidi has picked up an injury. So Jack Clark is coming on. Clark, another one who's been in very impressive form recently. Hoping he can just prove his worth again. Martinez. He might not get goals and assists, but his link-up play is brilliant. And Mbwemo gets... What a goal! Where is this form come from, from Mbwemo? Hats off to Martinez in that build-up. But where is this form come from? He's not right-footed. Two goals on his right. Ramsdale definitely can't do anything about that one. I'm not even going to try and give him some credit. He's put it right in the top corner off the post. 2-0 up and we're cruising in the semis. I just want to know where his form's come from. He was shocking for us for the first part of the season. I was going to call him my worst signing, but he's he's brilliant at this second half. I don't know if it's an update on the game, if I'm just playing a bit better. He's improved so much in like the last two or three episodes. It's unbelievable. Saka's just toying with us. Suter, all six foot eight of him, just puts that block in. And Buemo now going on a run against Zinchenko. And he just gets round him so easily. He's probably done that a little bit far. Ramsdale claims it. Why Why not? He's, he's in form. Just go for it. Just in on Saka. Oh, he wouldn't tackle as well. He does get a foot on the ball, but he's got support by Suter now. Justin and Suter have swap positions. Patino gets the shot. They've still got it. Jesus gets the shot. I love the fact we've just got bodies in the way today. It's such teamwork in defending. That ball wasn't very good today. Don't let him get that side. Harry Winks puts a foot in again. Winks is having a stormer as well. Now we're countering. Dewsbury Hall gets blocked by trips. That's not good because that gives Arsenal the chance to counter. Suter, it's not even Suter, it's Doyle who puts the tackle in. Well done. Couple of changes, Carvalho and Thomas are both going to come in. That's a good block by Doyle. I've just got to hold on for these last 20 minutes. We've tuned it up. We are very good. Hermanson's had a couple of saves to make. That's not really, that's shocking defending. That's the first time we've really been poor. But it's given us an opportunity to counter Carvalho. Gives it to Martinez. Ferrer is on it. All the way over towards Clark. And now Mbwemo. This is better. Mbwemo just charging at his man. Goes for the long shot. What is with him? Stop it. Every shot you're taking is going in. It's so good. I don't know what we've done. I've not touched any sliders for our shooting at all. I won't touch my sliders. I'll fiddle with the AI ones to make them better or weaker, depending on how I'm playing at that point in time. I won't touch my sliders. I don't know what Mbwemo's done. I don't know what he's taken, but he has turned it around. He's got a hat-trick in the FA Cup semi-final, and he's sealed as going through against Arsenal. No chance of a scoring three in ten minutes. This is what the sliders I work on, so... Injury frequency, goalkeeper ability go up, and that is it. That is all I've got. AI, I've played with a little bit to make it a bit better, but I find that this works. Goalkeeper ability, theirs isn't quite as good as ours, but they create such better chances. They're the sliders I'm working on. It's always being micro-adjusted. It's always being micro-adjusted, but I'm never making it unfair so that we're going to turn up and win this game 3-0. I'm always going to keep it competitive. So I know next game I'm going to up it a little bit because we want to keep the series interesting. I don't want to get battered on just basic legendary every time. I'm hoping I can justify that okay to you guys. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you want to see me just play on base 50-50 and just up injuries, then I will do it. I will cry a lot more. But I'm thinking for you guys in the videos and stuff, this is kind of my level at the minute. Martinez is off on the road as well. If he can get a goal, why is he shooting from there, though? Why is he shooting from there? Saka's got around Thomas like it isn't really nothing. They are throwing bodies forward now. Thomas just recovers so well. He's 
played himself into some good form as well. I did prefer Christensen at the start. Now Thomas has come in. Jack Clark has caught him on a counter-attack. He's gone through there. Ramsdale makes a save. I want him to go with his right foot. But that does us. We are through to the FA Cup final. And in some fashion as well. Umbuemo has carried us here. Oh, Mavadidi's out for three months. At least it's the end of the season. So all that means is Jack Clark's going to come in. And Cannon's probably going to make the bench again now. We have Manchester United up next. You know what? I am going to play the highlights in this one just to give you another game. I'm, I'm feeling good after that one. So screw it. We'll do it. We're going to have to rotate though. So we have rotated against Man U for fitness reasons. Playing highlights. We'll see how well we can do. Solo run first up and it's a good ball over to Broger and Glazias. Cody gets it. Bruno Fernandes has a penalty. Where's he going? Left. Oh my god. God, that's a good penalty. Inacho on the ball. Hasn't really got the help he needs at the minute. Chowdhury puts the ball through from Buemo. He nicks it off of Luke Shaw. He was offside. They've got another penalty. This is this is taking the piss a little bit. Does he go the same way or does he go the other? I'm going another way. He scored it again. I've, I've dived the right way both times. They've both been just really good penalties. I'm really tempted to just ping this towards Justin and hit it. And you know what I'm going to. Give it there. Justin on the volley. It's not really troubling, is it? Martinez has a chance. That is such a bad chest. That is awful from him. There you go. We've got a corner. We do win the header. Are we going to get a counter-attack chance? No, we're not. Game over. 2-0 loss to Man U. It's not going to dampen my spirit, so we beat Arsenal 3-0. That's all I need. That will do us then. Chelsea and Manchester City up next. I'll rule reveal the final opponent for the FA Cup in that episode as well. So keep an eye out for that. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like, comment with any feedback, subscribe to see more from us, and I'll catch you next time.